Vinay, thank you for joining us. It's a pleasure. What brings you to Summit 2017? The Summit 2017 is actually having an India-specific session. Uh, so I'm going to be making a presentation on financing the renewable sector. Uh, I also want to meet a lot of the invest international investors and developers who are keen at looking at the Indian market. Uh, we, we do a lot of work with some of these investors and I want to understand what is it that they are looking at, how can we help solve their problems and challenges. Bridge to India, what do you do? So we are a specialized renewable uh, consulting company. We offer business consulting and research services to our clients. We work with everybody in the sector, uh, both on the private side, uh, including the full gamut, the whole value chain from the equipment makers to contractors to developers. We also do a lot of work with policy makers and international institutions who are active in the Indian renewable market who want to understand what is the Indian government doing, what are the challenges, how can they help the, the government as well as the private uh, companies overcome these challenges. So we do a work with everybody who's interested in the Indian renewable sector. Who are interested in that sector? Well, I think uh, it is, uh, there's a very, very rich uh, gamut of players. Uh, that includes all the international companies, equipment makers, developers, investors. Also, a lot of the Indian companies are beginning to look at the renewable sector, not just from the point of view of uh, entering into the, uh, into the sector as a business, but also looking at it as uh, a source of energy for, for supplying their manufacturing or their automotive businesses. So who, these are all these people that we work with. Also, there's a lot of interest in the financial sector, the, the lenders, the big international institutions, the private equity funds, the sovereign wealth funds. These are all, again, people who are interested in the renewable sector, and we talk to them very often on an ongoing basis. Are you seeing any particular trends emerging? Yes, so, so what has happened is that the Indian government announced a very big target of 175 gigawatts for the Indian renewables by 2022. That target was announced about two years ago. And since then, what has happened is that there's been a huge surge in policy making and other initiatives uh, trying to accommodate this growth in the sector. And uh, so we've grown from about two to three gigawatts a year in about 2014 to about almost seven to eight gigawatts right now. And I expect that we will go to about 12 to 15 gigawatts in three to four years from now. So the sector is in the middle of a major growth surge. Uh, there's a huge uh, inflow of international expertise and investment coming in. Uh, and there is a maturing of the sector. The price points are coming down. Renewables is becoming more competitive. Uh, and suddenly it's becoming more mainstream. It is no longer a, a, something, a niche sector where you would look at it purely from the point of view of, let's say, uh, reducing carbon emissions. Today, renewables is not only an environmentally friendly choice, but it is also uh, cost competitive. Uh, it is also something which is very widely and universally ab available across India. So, so in the key trends, I would say is that it's becoming much more mainstream. It is attracting a lot of choice, both from the Indian as well as the international stakeholders. And there's a lot of work going on now to, to making it 24-7 uh, you know, as we go along in the future. On that basis, uh, you must assume that energy storage will be the next wave of technology coming into play. Well, it has to be. Uh, renewables, of course, we all have to understand it is not a firm source of power. There is a natural and technical limitation on how fast renewables can grow in relation to the rest of the grid and the other sources of power. And that is really the limiting factor in the growth of the sector as far as India is concerned. So, so there is a lot of work now going. It's not just about storage. It is also about policy making. It is also about making the grid smart. It is also about introducing tariff reforms, moving the consumption uh, you know, between peak and off-peak off -peak hours, etc. So there's a lot of work that can be done to grow the renewable sector uh, to make it a more stable source of power. Beyond 2022, what do you think will come next? So we expect uh, the big change will be that uh, storage will become competitive, uh, both in terms of technology and in terms of cost. Uh, that will really uh, provide a big boost to the sector, uh, helping address one of the key limitations, which is the non-firm part of the of being of the renewable sector. So, what I expect is today we are expecting the sector to grow about 10 to 12 gigawatts, and once uh, we are in say 2022, storage is affordable, available, competitive. Uh, then sky is the limit. Uh, you know, India could theoretically uh, go from 
10% renewables to 50% or 100% renewables uh, by that time. Uh, also, you know, it, bear in mind that India is a country with huge energy deficit. Uh, it has to meet almost 50% of its energy requirements through imports, uh, which puts a lot of strain on the economy in terms of the foreign exchange volatility, in terms of uh, the geopolitical security of the country. And once we are in that era where storage can be, make renewables completely uh, technically feasible, then I think sky is the limit for the growth of the sector in India. Fascinating. Renee, thank you very much for joining us. Thank you. It's a pleasure.